This weekend, I received some really exciting news from my colleague in Rwanda, Inesol, and he shared with me that we have just, as an organisation, achieved our 100th orphanage closure. This is such a milestone for Hope and Homes for Children. It's not only the thousands of children that we've been able to move out of orphanages and place in loving families, but it's the many more thousands of children that we've been able to prevent from going into orphanages in the first place. Achieving 100 orphanage closures has been a real journey for us as an organisation, and we have learnt a huge amount. We've learned about how to prevent children from going into orphanages, how to prevent the separation of children from their families in the first place. We've learned how to set services up so that we can support the transition of children out of orphanages and into families. And we've learned how to develop new services that will ensure that all children can live with the love of a family. And we've harnessed all of that learning to influence the development of policies and legislation that has enabled whole countries to reform their systems. So our influence is growing and it's growing globally which means that we are able to drive reform in many more countries. What this means is that hundreds of thousands of children are now benefiting from being placed in the care and love of a family just through these 100 closures. So achieving the 100th orphanage closure places Hope and Homes for Children in a leadership position. No other organisation has achieved it. This isn't just about leadership though. It means that we've been able to capture expertise. We've been able to learn as we've proceeded and we're harnessing that now to advise and also to steer reform in many other countries. So we're uniquely placed in driving global reform of childcare and protection. And this is going to benefit many, many more children. But it's the momentum we are now interested in. Achieving 100 closures is a great milestone. But we are now working concurrently on 50 closures. This will continue to increase. What it means is we're drawing more and more people to us to assist in the reform process. Working as a catalyst in this way, we're really confident we can achieve global reform, which is why your support is so important to us as an organisation. Of course, this is not about the numbers. It's about the individual children who benefit from this. Children who might have otherwise died in the orphanage system or been hidden away for all their childhood in institutional care. Those many thousands of children now live with the love and protection of a family. And we could not have achieved this with them without your support. All your support has enabled us to transform the lives of these children and they now have hope for their future. They have dreams that they are pursuing. So thank you so much.